Hello my friends and welcome back to another video. Um, can you believe it is already December 3rd? I'm just like, wow, already the days are moving and grooving. So, and here I am with my numbers that I've been talking about since like the 1st of November getting done. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to do like one through five. And just to give you guys an idea of the simplicity that I'm going with this year, because like I said, we're move we are already in day um, we're on day three today and um yeah so let's go ahead and jump in so if um numbers are just so many possibilities uh that you can do with numbers i actually kind of thought i would like um use these numbers i almost said like cheat a little bit i don't think this is cheating i think this is like doing something working what did they say working smarter not harder <laughs> But um, I actually picked these up at, um, they're little wooden numbers on, glued onto little styro, uh, little felt, um, felt stars and trees. I picked these up at Hobby Lobby. Um, now, if you do the composition book and you get the monthly stickers, they have, um, they have numbers in there. So those are definitely what I'll be using in my composition book. Speaking of composition books, I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So I thought I would go ahead and do my December 1st um, page. And I think I'm going to do a different route and I'll talk about it. So, um, so okay, so we're, let's just kind of start from the beginning here. We are in December, you know, we're moving along. Let's put our sticker in since I have this little advent calendar that I am working on. Um, the third is over here. Actually, that kind of helps me find this because then I can find the stickers. It took me forever to find number two. So, oh, it's a partridge in a pear tree. Okay, and there's actually two. Maybe these are two turtle doves, but it's on page three. I don't know. So, I'm going to go ahead and put my sticker there, which is kind of fun because I'm doing my own little countdown through stickers. So, um, okay, so I'll put those in. I'm still kind of working thoughts on this page here. The joy of having a ringed journal is that you can move this, move these around. So I think what I'm going to do is pull out, let's see here. First, we did our wassail tasting, so we're going to add that in here. And then these are some pictures I took of on the first day of December. And so, um, yeah, let's see what we have. But what I was, what I'm thinking about doing is, um, in one of my journals, I kind of typed up instead of handwritten, um, what, what exactly we did that, that day. I think I'm just, I hate punching a hole and this is our square. And I've mentioned the wassail tasting before. What we do is we... Um, is we um, we walk around the square and we taste wassail and what we do from there is we um, you do a QR code and you vote for the best leaded and unleaded and what they mean by leaded is um, leaded has alcohol unleaded do, does not so um, so that's kind of the I'm going to pull this one out right here You know what, maybe I'll do this. Uh -huh. um, and so that was so much fun. Even though we had our tree trimming party at work. And you guys, oh my gosh. I ate too many spicy things because we did our tamales. Um, we did a tamale, which was kind of like a traditional that we do in the office. And then we did... Um, what else did we do? Oh, I had I had made taco soup, so I had taco soup. And then there's one um, uh, one coworker's wife makes these. Um, they're like these crackers with like uh, crushed red peppers. I love them. A so the combination of all that spice, oh, my esophagus was not happy with me. <laughs> I had to end up chewing four times. You guys, I'm like. Okay, this is not the way I wanted to start out the Christmas season, so I'm going to have to really be kind to my body this season. Um, 
yeah so anyway okay I'm sure you didn't want to hear about my my story but that is my story of the day because I came home and I literally like wanted to sleep and sit on the couch and not move um, but I think what I'm gonna do is somehow use this but I want to type up the story and the reason I want to do that is because um, we um, I can get more information on there and it's just neater I don't know I have handwritten handwritten is also very fun and I still plan on doing some handwriting but when there's like a big day I think I'm gonna do some typing so um, so I'm gonna pop this in here for now I may have to work on day one um, there may be more than one little insert for it and I was gonna look and see we had the four ply there we go that way we can add different um, pictures into different sections here oh here we go let's not use mine so we had a very busy December 1st so I'm just gonna kinda like add these That's part of the scavenger hunt. And maybe do some. Do some little sections of pictures here. Something like along that and then my daughter I bought I printed out another one because I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do a larger picture but what I can do is add this to my creative daily journal which is the composition book and so I want to kind of talk about the composition book. I've had lots of um, and I kind of touched on it last time about like journals falling apart and so d definitely I'll try to leave a link if I remember my mind um, down below of um, see like this is my daughter she you know she's I'm gonna just tuck that in there we may get to day one we may not because <laughs> I'm trying to um, I know you guys are super busy and um, at least get a uh, get it down and then maybe come back and work on it so at least I have all my my day one photos in here my ephemera in here now it's just kind of putting it all together and um, and we'll be able to work on it but I wanted definitely wanted this this video here was really geared towards um, the numbers so I'm gonna go ahead and put this aside and we're gonna work on the numbers because that's that is what I've been trying to focus on and I could spend all day long journaling you guys it's it would not be a problem <laughs> But um, I know that um, I wanted to kind of just tell you, show you how I'm going to keep it simple this year. So as I mentioned earlier, um, I wanted to keep it simple and I'm going to be using, I know we're, we're combining traditional Christmas colors in with pink, but I, I'm going for it. I love this pink paper. I want to use it. And um, these are the numbers I'm going to do. So I'm going to work with some different elements and get it to work. But before I st start working on that, talking about the composition books, there, um, there was, I guess what I've heard is that there's been a lot of journals falling apart, which is so sad for me. I mean, so sad for you guys that they've fallen apart. I have not had an issue with that, so I'm not sure what is happening. But um, my friend Elizabeth with Never Hopeless, Elizabeth did mention um, that the books, the composition books like from Staples, Dollar Tree's not that great, she said, but she has never had any issues and she's been using composition books since like 2015, I think. So, um, so definitely I'm not sure exactly what's happening um, with those. Maybe um, if you could email me or something and send me some photos, I could kind of make some sense of it. I Like I said, I don't know. I've never had that happen to me either. Um, but I also had um, one of... Uh, are the, one of the ladies that have been following named Lisa has said she's very frustrated she doesn't know 
how to start. So I thought it would be pretty, um, I thought what, what I would do in my composition book is like start from beginning on how to um, just start a page. And seriously, you guys, if, if you've started a page and you're like, oh, I hate it, do not throw it away. Just move on to the next one. The more you are creative, the more it will come start coming naturally, where you feel more confident, where you find your style. So definitely don't give up. Don't throw it away. Just move on and keep doing what you're doing, and it will and it will come more easy and more um, comfortable. Um, because I know that when I was um, starting back over, like I've always been a scrapbooker for many many years, and then of course like when you have kids and working full time and all the things, it, little ones sometimes it's hard to find those moments to um, to journal and scrapbook. Um, so what I would do is, and that's when I started thinking, I don't know how to do this anymore. I remember actually feeling like that. And I was looking at some old journals, um, some old um, December dailies last night, because I did finally get into my cedar chest. And um, um, you ought to see some of them. They're just so different than how they look now and it's like I just I just kept at it and we're talking at least maybe 10 years ago how we were looking at some of them how my style has changed and that's you just evolve and you get more comfortable and you start looking at what your your style is and what you um, um, what what works for you so um, so don't don't give up just keep playing and keep having fun and use the things that you love. Um, oh, sorry, I'm just reading this. So, yeah, so that's my advice. <laughs> um, and like I said, I have been there where I felt so, you know, especially when you start comparing yourselves, don't do that because everybody's style is different. Um, my sister's is different from mine, you know, my friend uh, that likes to journal too, her style is completely different, and she may look at my stuff and be like, oh my gosh, it's so busy, it drives, your, you know, it dri would drive her crazy because she's more sim simple, um, but that's okay because that's her style, and um, we still get together, we still play, we still have fun, we still talk about journaling, and, um, and, we just have two completely different styles so what's your gut go with your gut that's what I say and yeah I know you're saying yeah but my gut tells me it's not turning out right well then just say gut <laughs> say self <laughs> I'm going to um, keep you because you are part of who I am and then I'm just gonna move on and try something else so I was going to put some stain around the edges. I have some pink stain. Oh, here they are. They're all over here. Yay. Um, just to kind of like make those edges not look as um, white. But you can do this with an ink pad too if you want to. Um, it kind of gives it that rustic feel too to them. Like a not rustic, but to me it's like kind of ages it a little bit too. And I know I have some green and red. Oh, here it's a green. Let's see what the green looks like. I was a little nervous about this green, but it actually looks, looks really good. Yeah, and just like um, just like mixing these um, these pink papers with like green and red, I would have never done this. I would have been like, oh, that would just I would either feel like I have to do all pink, but this year I'm taking a leap and I'm doing it, and it may look like you know weird to some, but like I said, I love both of these things. So 
that is who that's who I am and yeah it may not be everybody's cup of tea but you have to go with with what you have what what you feel so I'm gonna lay these out like I said we're working on the first five number one two one two three four five we're gonna work on the first five numbers and you this is something you can do as you go along but I have realized that it's kind of helpful to have things done because you know you may get a stomach ache from eating too <laughs> you may get a stomach ache like I did from eating too much spicy food the first day of December and don't feel like doing anything and um, and so yeah that's kind of my story so this is this came in the creative Christmas kits I had earlier in the season and so I really wanted to kind of use some of these things um, in my journaling pages I kind of like this guy because it reminds me of like going through like downtown um, oops going through the downtown area trying the wassail it kind of just reminds me of something that you would do like you know in the day or but we're gonna go with this one and I've got my hot glue gun going and so we can start just working with these and what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna kind of be get creative and um, add different elements on here different uh, papers like start layering them up and then we'll start kind of going with then we'll add numbers and like I said these like on this side are, are going to be sticky but I'm going to be gluing this all onto a page or onto a sheet or stapling it so and then I'll just kind of add numbers as you know that could be something too actually as I'm thinking out loud because if I say for instance if I put this gentleman on a page and he it's going to be for like family Christmas well I don't really feel like he is a even though he may go with the journal theme or whatever um, I would want something maybe more like a Christmas tree for family Christmas versus the gentleman you could actually make up different layers and these work great for like a little ephemera pieces too um, you can make up different layers and then add your numbers pick them out like create a little bit and actually I might do that now that I'm talking about out loud with it with you guys I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna go ahead and make up like and not put numbers on them yet because um, because that way I can pick and choose what um, what particular cluster I want to add to that day and not be committed you know If, it, I, if I don't feel like it goes with it and I'm like, oh, I already put the number on there, you know, like, oh, no. So this way I can kind of just add um, fun little, <laughs> I have a rocket ship, uh, <laughs> fun little um, already put together little clusters and then you could add your numbers as you go along. So see I'm thinking out loud as we go along oh look this is my friend has these little cut out of this little man we call him the naked guy <laughs> and as uh, we always are uh, laughing about this because she has that on again she uses that in her um, in her journals let's see here Yeah, because I am planning on doing like a surprise thing at my work and having like a hot cocoa bar one day. And so I definitely want to, um, this is cute. Let's 
see if we can find a background for this. Um, and so that would be, where is that? The little hot cocoa. There it is. That would be a cute little match for that. I'm just going through a trinket, messy trinket box that I have over here. You can see it in the camera. And I have this also that has a lot of different elements to it as well. Here's some jingle bells. What is this? I love just adding, adding writing to, to the page. We can put a button. What's in here? And you guys, uh, today, my daughter, actually we started last night um, going through every single drawer in my craft room. And it, you guys, in my art room and craft room. I mean, I got... I've got so much stuff, I don't even know what's what. And I used to be very organized when I first moved to this house five years ago. <laughs> and somehow, over time, it just has been all over the place. So we're getting our, she's helping me get it together. And I'm so, so thankful. These buttons may be a little, I definitely love adding buttons, but they may be a little, um, too much bulk for what I'm wanting to do, but those definitely could be something I could add later. Okay, so actually this one is doesn't really need a whole lot. It's so pretty. But we're going to add a little deer leaping. And he has a little bell. So cute. Okay. So we have these five layered up. And I'm just going to push all this to the side and then I'll put it back in my little container over here that's holding all my goodies. So let's go ahead and um, add some numbers on there. So one, I'm going to take this little fuzzy thing off the back here, this little, the dot, um, and add number one to this. And this is going to be my wassail tasting day. And then yesterday was two. I'm trying to think what, oh, um, I, the story is Advent on day two. I kind of printed that out as well. I'm going to talk about the Advent, so. I'm just going to put number two. Today, I have no idea, <laughs> but we're going to add, actually, you guys, I know someone has asked about me doing my um, my gingerbread garland, and I am going to do that on film, uh, and that's what I want to do this weekend. I'm going to actually try to work on that today, so we'll put number three, and I actually want to make gingerbread, you guys, gingerbread men. I'm going to add this to three. So we got one, two, three, tomorrow is four. I'm going to go ahead and just add it to oops. And this actually is kind of coming off so we're just going to glue that four back on there. Try not to burn ourselves. So I think I'll do four right here. And then I'll go ahead and do five. This is pretty simple. And like I said, we can always be in that it's so small. We can actually add, um, do like a bigger background if we wanted to, like cut out another bigger. So 
So there you have. See how simple and quick that can be? Okay, so I don't want to lose the numbers. You know me and my numbers. I always seem to misplace them. And they kind of pop it off this background. So I'm going to pop it back into the sleeve. And we were going to make... Um, we were going to make a pocket too, but let's come over here, just lost my wand, and let's set this to the side, actually we can put them in a, let me grab an envelope, Envelope is fairly big, but I don't want to lose my numbers, so I'm going to put these in here before I lose them. <laughs> oh, and let me add this. Okay. And I'm going to put it at the back for now. And that way they are in a secure place. I'll move all this little fun stuff over there. And then we're going to go back to page one. And so this is where I could I bought several of these. So I'm gonna cut this out. Let's see how much will fit. I think I'm just gonna cut this. Because I actually picked up like five copies of these because I knew I'll be playing in my journal with them. And then I will add because I wanted one for my journal. Uh, the composition book and then um, and this December daily okay and then we're gonna add page from day one let's see yep just like that okay this was a QR code that we used to have to what we would do is basically turn in paper copies, but now they do QR code, and it's very, very, very efficient. Ever since, um, I guess you could say that ever since um, um, 2020, the pandemic, everything's kind of gone electrical. I mean, electronic, and including voting, <laughs> which is nice because they probably have a system where they can easily just do, -do, -do vote figure it out that night who won so I'm gonna go ahead and use hot glue on the back of this just to make it quicker and I hope that it stays whoops and pray oh I'm making a mess I don't want to touch that with my hands <laughs> but I think I might just do that I added um, put too much glue and but this is a sticky little ornament and put that there okay oops oh uh oh yep that's what I shouldn't have done okay whoopsies all right that's why I shouldn't have had it hang off the edge See, we all make little, what does um, Bob Ross say? It's little happy accidents. Or, so we will figure this out. I should have put that ornament on this side. But too late. Yeah. Okay, not to worry, not to worry. We're going to go into our stash here. And find something that will work to cover that on this side. Ooh, look at all this fun stuff in here. I definitely want to make sure, because this is where I'm going to do my writing. Kind of made a mess over here. But we can come in and fix it. Um, This is a picture of 
Brazis and her friends. What I might do is print one out that's a little smaller and that way I can add it to one of these sticker pages. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's move this away here. Let's find another. And actually we could actually use one of the one of these pages. So we could do got wassail, open this up. I'm gonna type it out. We'll have to add a little cover that of my mess here. And then we'll turn the page and then we have I don't wanna I'm thinking about doing something with pokey, so I wanna say that dots and paper, but we can and this could be the gingerbread, let's see. Let's see what we got. Do the oh what fun well I really would like okay we could do turn this around and add all my photos there all right we got a plan so let's see what we got over here in our little And again, I probably would like to have this layered up. And actually we can not do all the pictures like that. Okay. What else we have over here? Hmm. Just kind of looking for some background things to put on the page. Kind of goes with the pink little bit here. Okay, let's do that. And um, as far as my party picture that I have, that will have to come. I'll have to figure out something with that. I did want to point out too that last night we were looking at the pictures um, from past. Like I said, I, I was able to get into my little cedar chest that had a bunch of old December Daily albums in there. And unfortunately, I noticed that I didn't complete a lot of them, which was really kind of sad, you know, but I knew that that had been the case because um, it just gets, it wasn't, um, life just got busy and my the priorities were a little bit different. And, um, and so... Um, but I noticed that my, you know, the big thing is, is doing one story a day because it can be overwhelming if you try to fit all your, your pictures in or whatever. But that's what I regret when I look back on these is that I didn't have more pictures in there of the kiddos and stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to do a little bit, something a little bit different with this album. And right now we're getting our pictures in and we can always come back and add more stickers, which is probably what I'll end up doing um, once I get an outlining, doing polka dots. We can, like for instance, come in here and add different washies things like that. 
and I'll probably end up writing everybody's name too. That's a big deal. Even though right now you're like, oh, I know who that is, but later on it could be questionable. Okay. So I've got that somewhat. It could be added more items in there. We've got our brochure. We're going to do writing on this page here, fix this little thing. This can go into the back because we will use that at another time. And then this will go in my uh, other journal. And this was the Christmas party, which I feel like I also need to maybe add a little. Maybe I could put this on the back here. That's what I'll do. All right. And there we have it. Day one. Almost done. Just need to just need to write. And I'm gonna go I am gonna do that today and add that in there so I stay on top of things. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this was a little helpful with me adding my numbers, and I will um, I will be doing a video soon with the composition books um, to kind of show you a little bit how I'm going to get started on my getting my December done. So, all right, you guys. Y'all have a super sparkly day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.